Kia ora, welcome to Keith Hay Park here in Mount Roskill, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. This is the 2023-24 Kedley Howarth two-day competition when I find my words. Day two. Action, we've had a couple of runs off the first three balls of the match. Uh, Dom and Barty. The bowler, he's going to be bowling to Sam Crooks. Comes and bowls and Crooks is just defending. Plays a dead bat to it. Top ball. Eden Roskill, 370 for 7 declared last Saturday. Asking Cornwall to bat for the last hour. And uh, Cornwall managed to get through that with only a wicket down. Last ball of the first over of day two. And another little forward push there. Shot at the stumps. But, uh, Crooks was in. Sorry, still one ball to come. One dot, one dot, one. And the over. My name is Bevan Jenkinson of Bevs Broadcasting. Pleasure to have you, wherever you are tuned in. It's Barty Bowlesy. Last ball this time. And it's a good ball. Not much that Edicia Edica could have done with it. And it's 46 for one after the first over of the second day. Right, so from the northern end, it's Shea Safi. He bowls. Swung. Past mid on. And. A couple of runs. It's the first ball of the over. There to Crooks. He moves on to six for six from sixteen deliveries. Safi five overs for eighteen. It's the second ball. And a bit of a swipe as Point comes round to extra cover. Stops any thoughts of a run. Uh, Eden Roskill Districts Cricket Club sponsored by uh, their main sponsor Pro Water Blasting so you see the ball and just left alone outside off stump Sam Crook's um, statistics since the uh, Start of 2021 in um, two day competition. Got average there just over 36 and a strike rate. More than um, a run every two balls. As this one's just forward, forward punch there and uh, cut off. ultimate ball of the second over of the day and just a little prod off his pads there 
and Adam Roscoe looked a little bit interested in that, but um, it's played safely by Crocs. Brings a teacher in a car on strike. 18 off 44 so far. Next ball left alone. And ends the 16th over. Cornwall's first innings. 49 for 1. Dumb and Barty to start his second over for the day. And Crooks just afford defensive shot there to mid on. No run. Overcast conditions. Well, not overcast, sorry. It's um, a bit of cloud around. Some blue sky as well. Um, yesterday in Auckland it was um, not the greatest weather-wise until later on in the evening. We should hit be in for a full day's play if need be. And another forward shot there. No run. This one's sucked off his pads down a fine leg. There is a player down there. She Shafi fields it. They get a run. Crooks on to eight now. So pro water blasting Eden Roskill. They've got three slips, a gully point. They've got cover open. Mid off, mid on. Mid wicket, squee leg open as well, and uh, fine leg on the boundary. It's the next ball, and prod there down to square leg. As mid wicket comes around, I get a run though. Ditch it on to 49. Nineteen will go with. Yeah, I was reading the wrong thing. <laughs> it's quick single and a shot at the stumps. I think he might have been safe there. Run's still the same though. It's a bit rough when you're getting stuck from the uh, scorers, I have to say. <laughs> Directly know where to go. Yeah, yeah. And it's well, my first game of the season, at least commentating um, exactly. in it. So, yeah. Get it right by the end, hopefully. It is the last ball of the third over of the day. There's a dot ball and 52 for one. Crocs 9, Aditya on 19.
GSR feet to bowl his second over. And oh, this one's just bounces in front of Ford Point. That's a bit of a loose shot there from Crooks. say too with the conditions the uh, wind has started to pick up a little bit it's keeping things cooler there's snow folks who you're supporting where you're tuning in from I see there's um, someone tuning in already commenting supporting Eden Roskill as this one's up and over and all the way to six runs. This boundary of the day. Crooks hits it. Fifty-eight for one now. This one's a better delivery here from Safi, left alone. That uh, six delivery just onto its pads and easily flicked over behind uh, square leg. Let's see fourth ball of the over. Crooks on a bit of a move there. It's a top ball nonetheless. This one's just a backward point for another dot. Safi just having that one loosener in the over so far. Ball of the fourth over of the day and just had to forward a point. And 58 for one, Safi finishes his seventh, and none for 25. Have a look at that, see if we can have a look at that six replay. Apologies, no, we can't. Just might have um, mucked up a bit of the timing there, so I do apologise. But there will be um, a highlights package of today posted to Bev's Broadcasting official Facebook page. As Barty starts his third, this one's just pushed past mid off to his left. They pick up a single. Good to hear some talk out there from the Eden Roskill side. Good to, great to see um, some junior cricket going on this morning. I was photographing Eden Roskill's first ever junior women's team that played a couple of pitches over from here. So possibly some white ferns on uh, future white ferns on display. the Black Cats in action tonight against the uh, Australians 
that keeps coming off the uh, disappointing loss to India at the World Cup. Australia had a big thumping win over the Dutch by 309 runs. The day later, as is a appeal for LBW, but um, I've just been pitching outside and going over. Of course, not only the World Cup, not not the only World Cup action going on at the moment but, um, in India. Of course, the uh, Rugby World Cup coming to a conclusion tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. New Zealand time. Can the Springboks upset the All Blacks? We will see. It's Marty. Good forward defensive shot there from Crooks. Both teams vying to become the first ever nation at a Rugby World Cup to win four titles. England having won the uh, bronze medal match this morning against Argentina. 26-23 off the top of my head. It was close. Yeah. Apparently in England had a good lead at half time, but the um, Argentinians, from what I was able to watch, played a pretty good second half. So it's flicked off of the of Crooks' pads. They'll come back for two behind square. Minimum of 98 overs scheduled for today. First uh, session, two hours 20. So lunch break scheduled at 1.20. And of course, being the second day of a two-day game, um, things could change. It's Barty's next ball. And it's flicked off the pads again. Down to fine leg who comes in. And leg by being signalled. It's in the over. And it's 62 for one. Barty, none for 22 or 6 overs. That's G. Sorry, Nathan, is that correct? I was going to say, he's got Jeet on the, he's got Jake Kumar on his back, so. Jeet Kumar. So you may have just heard me say, Jeet Kumar into the attack. Who is that? Jeet. Didn't play last week, but uh, brought him to the squad today. First ball's a dot. And the second ball. It's flipped round behind square. Had a short fun leg there, but... Um, Deep square comes around. We get a single off that one.
There's a third ball full. Just played on the crease there. It's Jake Kumar's two day record for the last two years. She's just been signalled it's a no ball. So you have to re bowl that one again. Back on a crease and just a little bit pushed off. Yes. He did. I didn't signal. No, he did. Didn't you? He did. He did. He did. Yeah, I know, but we didn't signal back. No, we did. Oh, did you? And the next ball prodded down. But off shite the stumps and this is good attempt though. From both um, batsman and fielder there. So impressive record that Jack Kamar has in the last couple of years, two and a half years, I should say. No, one to come. Maybe able to hear the scorers in the yeah, background sitting next to me. Just like the umpires can't have a game without them. And this one's prodded and fended off. And ends Jack Kumar's third over, a uh, first over of today and the match. None for three. And Barty he continue from the southern end. Six overs for twenty two. Had six overs in the day for twenty two runs. with his left arm over and then left alone just into the pads no shot offered you can watch these um, games back folks much as you like you can, uh, should be able to rewind them as well So it's just a Ford prod at the crease. Short Madon comes in. Next ball is left alone. But he bowling some good lines here. ball just on the crease there and just defended from the ditcher. Four dot balls in this over and they've been pretty decent ones but um, carefully watched as well.
This one is just put on the crease on the back foot and just bend it away again. One ball left and this is um, pretty decent over from Barty. Apologise about the um, camera going to sleep. I just didn't quite work out on the one that I'm using how to avoid that. Here's an explorer's left alone. Outside off stump. They're pretty good over there from Marty. It's made an over. 65 for one after. Excuse me, 21. Feel free, folks, if you've got any questions, comments, um, flip them through the live stream, um, even if you are watching this back later on. Do my best to uh, respond to them. No, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, uh, no, as Kuma about to start his second over. And comes onto the sweep, bit of a shout from the keeper, but um, from Neil Patel. Oh, he's had to <laughs> had a shocking throw coming from the um, fielder, and had to jump for that one. Second ball to Crooks. Crooks just fends us away to short with wicket. Apologies, folks. There's a run off that first ball. So, Etika on strike. And nice little forward prod, good running. And an appeal for a run out, but um, he was Crooks is pretty home, pretty safe home there. So um, Sunday, t Saturday afternoon, one day teams are arriving to play. So a few going on. Most of them starting their first game of the season. Let's hope this season's uh, a little less interrupted than the last Bahrain. And Crooks just forwards. Gets forward on this one, defends it back. And stays on the crease this time. Last ball. Couple of runs off that one. And 67 for one after 22.
Monty about to bowl his eighth over of the game. And first ball's left alone. Of course, uh, it's not just club cricket and international cr cricket taking place at the moment. Uh, Blanket Shield round two underway at the moment over at the Kennards Higher Community Oval. Northern Districts Northern Districts winning the toss and electing to bowl and it seems like that was a good decision. Auckland struggling at 56 for 4 at the moment. I know you said that with a bit of disdain, um, in it, but actually, a I've got a few mates in that Northern District side, so I'm not too oh, displeased. No, of course not, because because that's when I was going to turn up and photograph, wasn't it? Yeah, I was going to go down and. Not working so well for Auckland at the moment. No, northern one. Canterbury being asked to bat against Otago, they're 30 for 3, and Wellington Firebirds having won the toss and electing to bat against Central Stags, 36 for 3. So, um, not a good day to be a batsman in the Plunkett Shield. So this one's just defended on the crease in a quick single. And Roscoe might just be on the heels a little bit at the moment. The Cornwall picking up some quick singles. Of course, round one was a... Um, Definitely around for the bowlers. We had, uh, I think, in the Plunkett Shield, there were two wins by an innings, and and the other one resulted in um, a win by two hundred runs. All three, and I'm pretty sure. All three in the f in three days. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's never happened. I th I think I read something like that too. That ne never happened. That all three games in the Plunkett Shield, New Zealand's domestic four day competition, we finishing in three. York can seem to be in a bit of a rebuilding phase at the moment. Here's this one's down leg. Some good keeping there from Neil Patel. One ball to come. In the over, and Barty's at eighth over. No, no, please. So, uh, he is good. Come on. This one's fended on the crease. <laughs> and there's a dot. 68 for one after 23. Kemar about to start his third over. Jack Kemar. Yes. And this one's just played back in the crease. Ball pops up off the artificial here. Off the yeah, off the artificial, I should say. No run. Come out with a lot of sunscreen around his chin and lips. Oh, it's good to be sun smart. A 
because this one's just played on the crease and forward for a dot ball. Now, I've just seen a question on the live stream. Am I following a specific club or am I bouncing around? As this one's forward past mid off, we'll come back to that in a second. And a couple of runs. They turn it into three on the arm. Now, considering I've seen you supporting Eden Roskill in this um, in this game, you'll be happy to know that Eden Roskill's basically where I'm going to be set up for the summer. But if any other clubs are watching and listening at any stage, all you need to do, folks, is get in touch with me. Um, as Eden Roscoe with a first club um, to bank my services, they get first priority, but um, any others, um, just please contact me, Bev's Broadcasting Official on Facebook. Um, and I can see what we can do. This, this one's good save there at extra cover. And ends the over at 71 for one. Stephen Barty to start his ninth left alone. Alright, third ball of the over. And Aditya just leaves it alone. Taller of the two. Next week, round two of the Headley Howarth competition. And of course, the Tom Headley. Pro Water Blasting, Eden Roskill playing. East Coast Bays here at Keith Hay Park. Fourth and eleventh. As this one's a forward push, just three extra cover. I'll pick up a couple and uh, make it comfortably as well. Well, Cornwall are off to um, Kenmonda Park to play suburbs Newland. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Yeah. 
And there's Dot Ball to finish the 25th at 73 for one. And, uh, 11 overs for the day and um, 30 runs for it as well. Came out to start his fourth over, none for eight. Three wicket, two, three wicket bags and in innings, along with five, three, five wicket bags. No ten wicket bags though. Loves bowling maidens. He's bowled fifty in the last two seasons. Yeah, two. Two years, sorry. This one's just played down yeah. to mid on. Listen. Frankly, tell me that when one ball done, what you get? Kumar's third ball. He just did better the way. I tried telling you, Nathan. So there's a short leg point cover. Extra ca short extra cover. As this one's down past mid off. There's the other fielder on, on the offside, and they'll come back for three runs. And some good running continuing here. On the leg side, this backward square. Short leg, as I said, short mid wicket, a regulation mid wicket, and mid on. No one on the boundary. Okay. Yeah. good for defensive shot here from Edeka. So you take on a white and then you fall from here or just no, the come to you. Oh. Come to you. Oh, then you oh God, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. And if it gets out just click on the wicket. Yeah. Started on 17 overnight from last week. That's end of the 26th. 76 for one. And uh, Kumar has four overs, none for 11. Crooks on 22. Adichie on 28. So where did you went to select the ball? Action? No, ball automatic. Yeah, when you... Uh, when you the ball comes, there will be this, like, who is the ball? Automatically when the end of the ball yes. comes here. Oh. No I'll, I'll, I'll see you yeah, yeah. Thanks. Okay, thank you. just having to shift the sight screen. It's the left arm bowler. Changing to around. In the wicket now. Dumb Bhakti, Bhakti. Comes forward, does Crocs and leaves it alone.
There's an expo for prod. Just down to mid off. Some good bowling here from the southern end from Barty. He had three overs, one for, one maiden for 13 at the start of the day. So he's bottled 6.2 overs for 12. And this one's just prodded. Just a little forward prod and run down to Gully. We've had 50 minutes gone of the first session here at uh, Keith. Keith Hay Park, good facilities, there's a golf course um, up top right hand screen, you've got um, plenty of cricket fields out here, Auckland United Football Club, soccer team, um, if that's how you identify soccer as, also based at Keith Hay Park, there's this one's down past mid on, there's up up short, so it doesn't take much to get past, and they run a couple. Mid on, mid off, cover, point. We've got um, square leg and mid wicket open with a fine leg back on the boundary. There's only two players on the off on side. There's a bit of confusion. Neil Patel has not had some easy um, catches at the keeper's end. He's had to jump up for a couple. It's three slips in a gully. No run. No. Oh. Yeah. Um, is this one is good fielding there it should mid wicket and it's a dot ball
Yeah. All right, so Kuma into his fifth over, nine for 12. Apologies for that, uh, for the microphone being off there. Um, Talking off here. Looks like Yaya Zeb is into the attack. Another player that didn't play last week. And the first ball to Edeka, let's just fend it away. Player that's played a bit of um, last man stands cricket for the Ningulis. One of the top um, teams, not just in Auckland, but the country. They won the um, won last year's Last Man Stands Nationals title. Funny enough, at uh, Cornwall Cricket Club. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. He's an easy couple of boy. dots to start the game, start the over. Let's get it through with a decent click. Three dots to start with. With plenty of energy as well. His premier two day stats from uh, since 2021. RPO of just under three. Thirteenth most wickets. He's a young player as well. Um, it's coming up through the grades. 13th best figures in innings. 6 of 56. Versus Birkenhead in 2021. So the 19th best figures in a match. Same figures in the same game as well. Started well here with 5 dots. Can he finish with a maiden? Get out of this over. He can. Don't know if he made the batsman play there, but it's a maiden nonetheless. 81 for one. So he just ticked over an hour's play of the game of the day. Being brought on for the for the batsman. This Kumar is about to start his next over. Crocs on strike. Just comes forward and plays it to short mid wicket. You should definitely be seeing more of Eden Roskill um, next week. The uh, first day of the second round. I won't be available. I'll be in um, Cambridge at Hotapu Rugby Club live streaming and commentating. Um, 
Wakato Club Sevens next weekend. That was already locked in before I talked to Eden Roskill. So this one slashed through cover. And it's rolling away. And we'll reach the boundary as well. Four runs. Good shot from Crooks. This one's just paddled around the corner. Behind square this time. This one won't go for four. They pick up two. This one passed backward square. Ends the over with the dot. Just played behind point. And it's 87 for one after... 30 overs, 16 overs done for the day. About uh, six or seven minutes away from drinks break. Zeb to start his second over. Contracted with the aces as well. This is forward of point. They'll pick up two. Good partnership being built here from Etika and Crooks, both on 31 each. Resuming after last week. Good shot here. It's through point and it's four runs. Yeah, Zeb, but just a little bit, um, straying a little bit here. Started with the maiden. That's six off his first two balls. Zeb do this time. Just left alone through the keeper. Fourth ball, and just walking a little bit, just but a defensive shot nonetheless.
It's an ultimate ball. Hey, there's this one's fiddled at. Yeah, and this look called him pretty interested. The unfortunate thing about the angle we're on, it's, it's hard to pick it up. The last ball, not an interest, not interested, and toddy over in the end from Yaya Zeb six off it, two and a four off that first first two balls, but um, come back well. Ninety three for one. Erica thirty five, Crooks thirty one. Morning and afternoon cricket. And we were just going through all day and I just wondered if there was any problems yeah. in the afternoon. And it was all the other fans that were chemists and he said things. He said things like sugar affect your mind. He told me to take barley sugar with me. That's what I used to do too. Second ball of Kumar's over and it's a replay of the first dot ball. Just talking with the scorers about the perils of it. The perils of it. Eating lollies, but it does help your blood sugar and all that. As any from Cornwall was saying, as this one's not played well off his pads, but um, it's down past, down to find me coming in. They run a single. And Roscoe at the moment just trying to find that way through and break this partnership up. And Eka says no chance on this last ball of Kumar's seventh. It's 94 for one. And that is drinks. Partnership worth 59. been pretty solid here from uh, both Crooks and Etika as we hit the hour 10 mark in the first session of day two back very shortly for the resumption
Alright, welcome back. Junk Spike done. And just trying to see where we are. Looks as though Zeb, yeah, yeah, Zeb is to continue. Good to see, in it that you've got binoculars. I, I use my, I, I, I use my camera. <laughs> I use my uh, still camera to, to figure out. I, th I think I broke mine actually. <laughs> Zeb to continue. Right, I'm over. And Crocs just fends us to point. You might have to do some multitasking here. Yeah. Second ball. And it's gone again. Left the line. Crocs on 31, Enneco on 36. There's a third ball left alone as well. Thirty-five or thirty-six. Fourth ball is a dot. Oh, okay. Actually, that's what I've got too. Um, any? I've got thirty-two and thirty-five. I mean, mine's less reliable though. Zeb's next ball. Oh, some good lines here. Because what might want to straighten this though? Make the bat two bats and think about what they've got to do here. Born and raised is. Um, at Eden Roskill is the ARZ. Oh, it's this one is just short. Is it dropped? Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, dropped it. Second slip. First chance of the game of the day, sorry, for Eden Roskill goes down. 94th one after 33. And apologies, I know I've, on the um, scoreboard I've got um, Jeet, Jeet Kumar that bowled that over, but no, it was definitely Yaya Zeb. Bowls a little bit quicker than um, Jeet Kumar. Hit him, mate. Go on, bowling. Gotta change at the southern end by the look of things. It's Dev Rutra. Dev, Dev Rutra. Dev Rutra. Dev. Sorry, was I right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dev Rutra to, to bowl. Two Maidens last week. From his two overs. Eighth best bowling strike rate in the last couple of years. Just under 26. So, every four overs on average he strikes. Best of five for 77 against Parnell at the start of the year. 
Starts with a dot. Spin continuing from the northern end. As this one's played. Board of just past cover. I'll pick up two. The wind has um, gone down as his big swipe outside off stump. Through the keeper. There was a slip in. Backward point, backward square leg, shortwood wicket, cover, extra cover. As someone's played round behind square. Down a fine leg boundary. It's got to hold up, is it? And Oz, not a greater, not, not the greatest um, fielding effort down there. Got stuck in the ground, and it's four runs. And brings up the Cornwall hundred as well, hundred for one. Bev's broadcasting. The next one is pulled round. This one four to square. Don't think this one's going to go. The fielding effort's not quite as um, symbolic as the earlier effort. It's two runs nonetheless. Etiquette now 43. Ratra into his third over. Eight off it, and he has none for eight. 102 for one after 34. First ball from Yaya is a dot. Second ball and just Defender on the crease there from Crooks, 32 of 76. This one's the outside edge. Down past. Full slip. And we'll roll away for a four. Streaky there, but um, the play of the day going away of Cornwall at the moment. 
Only one genuine chance in the last over. It's from the southern end, and um, it was put down. Crooks on 36 now. There's big appeal. It's caught behind, and this time it's gone. And Yaya Zeb strikes. Apologies, it uh, looks as though it's at the top of the stumps. And that sees the end of Sam Crocs. The 36 and this part, good work partnership from Cornwall comes to an end. Crocs bowled. Yeah, yeah, Zeb for 36. So, Bevan, you have to tell me exactly what you need on your, your sub. Are you okay with what I got last time on? Uh, Twitch, a session? Dimitri Gallaj, the new batsman. 11 matches in the last couple of seasons. 146 runs at an average of 16.2. A strike rate of 53. Scored his um, 150 in the last couple of seasons against suburbs New Lynn earlier in the year. Is his first ball placed to mid wicket. Yeah, it's top ball. See just the energy coming from here from Eden Roskill's picked up since that wicket. And at the end of 35, it's 106 for two. Successful one there for Yaya Zeb. One for 10 off three. Devratra to start his third o fourth over. Starts with the dot. And 
this one just pulled down to mid off. So this is all that you want right now? I think, yeah. <laughs> and uh, okay with the sorcery and all? Everything? Um. <laughs> I normally go. Three top balls here from Ratra. And Edeka can't get past the off. It's got the got the walk going on at the moment. The powers of what one ball can do. And this one's flicked round to four to square. Another dot. And left alone. And it's made an right to his third over. A third maiden, a four overs, and 106 or two after 36. Get a cut. 43 from 106. Garage hit to score up from two balls. Thanks to Pro Water Blasting, the main sponsor of Eden Roskill Cricket Club here. Zeb to start his next over. It's a top ball. Sports clubs, organisations, community projects these days just can't do without the gracious support of sponsors. Uh, Barfoot and Thompson, but Roskill and Reliance Forex, the other sponsors here at uh, Eden Roskill. Another Ford Prod for no run. Update. Um, the Plunkett Shield, Canterbury. Being put into bat, 74 for 3 against Otago. Wellington Firebirds, 89 for 4, electing to bat against Central Stags. And the match at Kennard's, Kennard's Higher Community Oval. The old um, outer oval at Eden Park. Auckland Aces, 97 for 4. Being put into bat there also. Currently Robbie O'Donnell. 48 not out, and Cam Fletcher, 18 not out. Another little forward prod, and the slips and gully are up. Scott Kugline with the wicket and Cartany, uh, Christian Clark, sorry, not Cartany Clark, um, with three wicket takers for Northern Districts. This next ball is left alone. Zeb showing his showing why he's been talked about for the last few seasons and why he's earned himself a contract now with the Aces.
an ultimate ball of his over. And a swipe. And you actually know that was the last ball of Zeb's fourth over. One for 10. It's 106 for two after 37. Having a look at the other Headley Howarth matches, Premier Men's major um, two-day competition. Takapuna declaring at 293 for nine, a lead of 148 over North Shore. That game being at Aniwa Domain. Parnell being dismissed last week for 160. They've um, wrapped up Auckland University for 131. So. They have a lead of 29, but they're 37 for 1 in their second innings, Parnell. As Kumar start, uh, is Ratra, so he start, starts with the dot. No interest there from Etika. Um, good forward shot there from Etika, but he's um, being kept quiet at the moment. This one's down on one knee. Hit two backward square leg on the boundary, but one bounce down to him. Single at least. This one's mm. past mid wicket. And it'll be Dimitri's first run of the innings. Yep. And he nearly over. 108 for two. The other game going on at the moment in the uh, Headley Howarth. Yeah. East Coast Bay is 339 for 8 declared. Yeah. Against Suburbs Newland. Yeah, it's this ball. First ball of Zeb's over. There's a dot. So there's New London dismissed for 175 for 10. And in the second innings, they're 26 for 4. So 138 runs. They're needing to make um, East Coast Bay bad again. There's a oh, good cover there. Good diving save and cover. Two or three balls. But it was uh, two balls. Two balls. It was going strong like that. <laughs>
three dots here to start from. Yeah, yeah. Three dots. And this one's just a full prod. Gets the hand off the bat. Fun and joys of having a new scoreboard is it uh, takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah. Had the wrong player on strike there. As this one's up, over slips. And four runs. And it's the end of the over. Went hard and went up and over the slip court and never had a chance at it. And Zeb now one for 14. First ball of Kumar's is just a dot. He's played safe hands there from Etika. He's 145. He's been in the 40s for about five overs off the top of my head. Comes down the wicket and plays it down to mid off. Not the first time he's got the um, shoes on. Walk down the wicket. Next one's a dot. It comes down the wicket. Up and over mid on. And just waiting for the signal. Six and a fifty here for such a hit a cup. Gets on, moves on to fifty one. Pumped up his half century. Dot to finish the over. Kumar, Jake Kumar, none for 27 off his 10. 
Six runs off it, and one one eight for two. First ball zebs over. Tikalash is on four. It's a dot. He just plays this across his pads. It's an open field at square leg. But why can't him to come round? Gets it three quarters of the way to the boundary. They pick up two. One has just played inside the line. Get through to the keeper. This one's just played on the crease. Hard bet, but um, played down to the ground. Patch out there. It has a bit of grass on it still, but um, it's pretty much, even though it's gra green grass, it's um, rolled into the pitch, so not really offering too much assistance for the bowlers. Pretty good condition here, the outfield. Half an hour to lunch, day two. Need in Ross School last week, uh, Saturday. 370 for seven declared. And this one's through. Extra cover and mid off, it's four. And Dimitri Gallage. Picks up his first boundary into the 41st over at 124 for two. Kalash 10, Etika 51. As it's a forward to start Kumar's first uh, next over. Up and over, Naron. 
Dallage now 55. My apologies to the scorers. Of course, it is Ratra. I keep thinking it's um, Kumar. I've done it every over, I reckon. Apologies to Dev as well. There's this one swept. There's protection down there. A deep square. They get a single. Just play back to the bowler from Dimitri. He just comes forward and plays this back. Comes down. Oh, it's put down, but a very hard chance. It's short mid wicket. Kalaj went after that. And it's four. I think he got something to it, but maybe just a fingernail. Wasn't much on it. It's hit at pace. Comes down, no issue this time. Flicks it up and over, and another four. Ends the 42nd over, and 3-7 for two. Dimitri Gallage just uh, attacking. Kumar, uh, Ratra there, sorry. 18 off 24 he moves to. So brings up, brought up earlier 150 runs for the last um, two seasons, or two years, sorry, in Auckland Premier two-day competition, due to uh, COVID. 2021-22, uh, there was no uh, two-day competition. Of course, last year we lost a few well, more than a few days to um, weather. Yeah, yeah, that start is next over. And half-hearted appeal by a couple of players, but no interest from bowler or umpire. Three slips, gully, point, cover, regulation mid off, short mid on, and square leg for Yaya Zeb. So punch it to mid off, and they run a quick single. This one's just driven down, sit back to the bowler. And 
I mentioned the uh, Cricket World Cup earlier, but forgot about the what must have been a very entertaining game last night between South Africa and Pakistan. Since left alone. South Africa getting up by one wicket in the end beating Pakistan. With a couple of overs to spare as well. Pakistan did quite well to post the 270 odd that they did score because the struggling Iliad's up and over. Point this one. And at the moment, just chances going begging for Eden Roskill after they've made that one breakthrough today. Kalash now on to 22. Next ball is spooned up, but again, things just aren't falling the way of pro water blasting Eden Roskill. And into 43rd, it's 142 for two. Interesting over happening here. to Kinataya Community Oval. Northern Districts winning the toss against Auckland Aces and electing to turning Auckland to bat first. 101 for 4 Auckland at lunch. Good partnership being put on here for Robbie O'Donnell and Cam Fletcher for 62 for the 5th wicket. They were 39 for 4. Here's the next first ball of the new over from Rutra. It's a dot. This one played out to cover. Third ball and a little just jab. Jab with a cut there and um, it's no run. Back through to the keeper. Now runs off the first three deliveries. And just gets onto the back foot. Can't get that cover again though. Just left alone. I'm just in trying to play that. And oh, there's people for stumping, but um, Neil Patel turned down. And it's a maiden over from Rutra. 142 for two. 44 overs gone. Looks as though there is a bowling change coming in. Just waiting to see who this is. Try place Yayar Zeb. Looks like. Uh, 
Now it's 12. She might be dumb. Man. Yeah, no, it is. Dumb. Man. Yeah. Okay. Dumb and Barty. Back into the attack from the southern end where he started off the day. Nine for 28 of his 10 overs. 12 to Dimitri Galage, 22 of 28. Left arm over. And looked to duck their galage, but um, let the ball go through nonetheless. Peel for caught behind the slip court and definitely interested. But he wasn't though. Might have just flipped the sleeveless jumper on the way through. Off the pads behind square, and Patel, the keeper, will come round. There's a leg by being signalled. Here's a question for you, Annie. Do you remember that? I'm, I'm positive you were scoring that day at Cornwall. Do you remember that day where the cow got hit at Cow Corner in a T20 game on a Wednesday night? We're talking four years ago now, probably. We're having a good laugh that, that, that the cow got hit. The cow was fine. But then we thought, how poetic it was that the cow was at Cow Corner. Yeah. This next ball is let through from Etika. Yeah, that was, I was calling a game for Auckland Cricket. And now we're doing some live streams. Yeah. And, um, yeah, cow got hit in the uh, paddock. If anyone's familiar with uh, Cornwall Cricket Club, you'll know that there's animals galore at, which is one of the appealing things about Cornwall Park. Cow was fine, we were having a bit of a laugh and commentary and someone has his appeal, but I think that was bat first. Someone came up to us and said, um, What's even funnier is that cow was standing at Cow Corner. It was, um, boy, we, we almost lost it in commentary, to be honest. Because it definitely was. In, in the paddock, as I say. Yeah. I did find out that that was the last ball of the 11th over from Barty. is just swayed away. One, four, three for two, after 45. That, um, that's where the name of Cal Corner came from, was because the olden days, that's where they used to, used to be. I am hoping to swap my cameras over, folks, so we don't have um, too many issues. I apologise about the um, cameras flicking off. Me not noticing, I've usually got a bit of a better setup, but um, just today I wasn't able to get it working properly.
second ball driven. And good stop there at um, mid off. We'll get through for a single at least. Well, this is sort of short cover. It's a dot. Seeming to do a lot of work there, that fielder. He dived over the top of the previous ball. As this one's cut away to cover. Another dot. On the man, Budwash doing the fielding. Gets past Budwash as this time does. Etika puts up two. Might look at a third. And they do. And they come back comfortably. Prod, they've got long on down on the boundary now. Makes an easy single. And ends Rutra's seventh over. None for 26, and it's 148 for two. Dating the other Headley Howarth games. Happening around the grounds. In the City Guard Premier Men's competition in Auckland. Um, just going by some scores. Not sure in the second innings of 20 for 1. To making 145 in the first innings. Takapuna, in response, 293 for 9 declared. So they have a lead of 128. Or North Shore, sorry, trailing by 128. With 9 second wickets in hand. Parnell have a lead of 93 with 9 wickets in hand in their second innings against Auckland University. Take the other game going on in a moment. Between East Coast Bays and suburbs New London, East Coast Bays, um, 339 for 8 declared in response to suburbs New London's 175 all out. And suburbs New London, 46 for 5. Requiring another 118 runs to make um, East Coast bat again. Um, with five wickets, five second innings wickets in hand. This one's down to square leg, and they pick up a single on the boundary there. This 
single off the third ball of the over. Just jump in the gun there, sorry folks. Galage now 25, Etikut on 60. And Etikut ducks under in for the over. I've made a real hash of this over because I see I've um, given this to Zeb where it's Barty who's bowling. That's penultimate ball of his 12th over. And just backs into the crease. Zedeka. And after I eventually get the scoreboard working properly, it's 149 for two. Cornwall trailing Eden Roskill by 100, uh, 221 runs in their first innings. Right, to, to start again from the southern end. And for 26 off his seven overs. Galage on strike enjoyed his last over. Just a forward prod this time. If you're hearing those clip, clip, clips in the background and wondering what they are, I'm taking photos while commentating, scoring, and everything else. Gallard comes down the wicket, and just plays it to mid-off. And, oh, that wasn't needed. Overthrow. Being thrown there. Gallard gets a single. Etika back on strike. Backs away. Slashes at it. Gets it past point. Cover coming round and covering it. And they pick up two runs, do they? There's an appeal. And they'll pick up a third on the ricochet. It might have been quite tight actually, but um, umpire was closer to us, closer than us. It was a good throw from yeah. about 50 metres out. He's gone outside, he'll come now. The manager has gone outside, he'll come. Yeah. He's gone to take the leg, and yeah, he'll come back. Maybe get one or two overs after this one before the lunch break, scheduled in five minutes. Garage comes down the wicket and Ooh. great diving attempt out there. And it's gone all the way. Garage with the six. 
32 off 40 now. This time backs away and plays it along the ground. So he's just hit that six. He gets a single. On 63. Just Ford prods it away to cover. It's 160 for two after 48. Etika on 63. Gallage on 40 uh, on 33. up again it's Jake Kumar is actually going to come in from the southern end possibly well it's going to be the last over of the first session on day two from the southern end at least we've got three minutes to go so it might be the last over before lunch itself. Thirty-four overs bowled in the two hours seventeen. So averaging just fifteen overs an hour. Another 62 to be bowled in the available to be bowled in the uh, remainder of the day. Scalage was set up and ready, but um, still some changes in the field. It's a slip, a short leg, Ford square leg, short mid wicket. Mid on, who's halfway back to the boundary. Regulation mid off, cover and point for Kumar. Gallard just dead bats this. So Maron, who was halfway to the boundary, has been pulled in. To regulation, Maron now. Three balls to come. And this one's driven to cover. Two balls remaining, and this, um, this could be the lunch break by the look of things here. Just ticked it. Well, I've just ticked over 120. PM local time. This is a diving short mid wicket over the top of it. Mid, mid on fields it though. Comes down the wicket and just sends it back to the bowler. Ends the over and just waiting to see what the umpires say. They do call it lunch. 160 for, for two.
Cornwall started the day at 43 for one having lost the having lost Crocs bold Zeb for 36 the only wicket to fall in this first session on day two assumption of play at 2pm we'll be back very shortly we'll be back in 40 minutes for day two Day two, session two.
Right, welcome back. We've had our lunch break and a bit of a laugh and everything else. And uh, Shia Safi to start from the northern end here at Cliff Hay Park. Etika, 63. Dimitri Gallage, 33. Safi, 25 for his seven overs. Got any questions or comments, folks? Let us know in the... Um, put them in the comments. We'll get round to them at some point. Second ball just short of first slot. There's three slots in place. Point, cover, mid off, mid on, mid wicket, and uh, backward square leg in place. Erica being solid for the 63. Just tries to push this along the artificial pitch. No run. Pro water blasting Eden Roskill in the field after making 370 for 7 declared last last Saturday. Cornwall started the day on 43 for 1. This is pushed to square leg. No run. I apologise for the um, issues that have gone on with Play HQ, folks. Um, that's not been at the scorer's end, which is next to me. Um, contacted New Zealand Cricket who are trying to get hold of Play HQ themselves. One fended off to mid wicket, just on the crease there. And ends the, ends the over with a maiden. And 60 for two. So, Dom and Barty to the start the second session from the at the uh, southern end, left alone.
second ball and just let a light left alone through the keeper two slips in place three slips in place sorry point cover mid off mid wicket forward square and fine leg who's on the boundary Number 29 and his 13th. Barty. Left arm over. Pushes it. Can't get past. Great fielding effort. There. At extra. At uh, mid wicket, sorry. Almost a short mid wicket. The next one's just fended. It wasn't far away from the stumps. It didn't look as though Dimitri Galash was too worried about it though. this it's a bit of a square bat away to square leg have a look at the uh, pitch and the lunch break after eating a bit of subway and, uh, it hasn't changed a lot in that first session of day two. Still got a bit of grass on it, but um, mostly rolled into it. This one's through the vacant gap between third slip and gully. Gallage will pick up two. Yep. NC over. At 162 for two. Trailing Eden Roskill, pro, pro water blasting Eden Roskill by 208 runs. yourself to continue and this one's just back to the bowler no run Safi starting with two dot balls. Neil Patel, wicket keeper, he's up, up to the stumps at the moment. Both um, Etika and Galage have been moving about.
as this one is up and over backward square. They'll pick up two quite comfortably. Going to come in the over. Just those two runs off it so far. This one's just patched the cover, ends the over. It's Third ball of the over. Yeah, it's a dot. I not think uh, Etika was quite too sure about that one. Fourth ball, and just play with a crease. And run to put on. His first uh, half century in the last couple of seasons. Previous oh, high school. Oh, straights are on. What a ball. And I might have just put the knockers on him for that. And he's been dismissed. 65 from 154. Brilliant innings comes to an end. And Cornwall lose their third wicket. 165 for three.
Alright, so the new batsman for Cornwall, Lucas Descent. And the captain, better batsman than those statistics would suggest. Only coming from the last, uh, since the start of 2021, the year 2021, not the season. And he plays the, his first ball, and the last ball of the over, just back to the bowler. And 165 for three. Statistics only ever tell you some of the story, doesn't always tell you the full story. We will eventually um, go through more games on that. And um, make it more visible or more wide range. Only Auckland um, Premier two day statistics. Safi, should Safi just start his next dover? Galage. Is that a quieter? Start um, since lunch. Just sends it back to Safi. This next ball pushed through extra cover, and it's just going to roll over and be four more. Garge moves on to 40 now. Changes going in and around the field at the moment. Neil Patel still standing up at the stumps. First and third slot. Backward, backward point. As yes, this one's pushed forward of square. And they'll pick up two. Garage on to 42. All left alone there, in the collage. It's a highest score of 71. As this one's just pushed down to cover. Dead battered again. One ball left in Safi's 10th over, none for 33. This one's just dead batted again. Ten to fifty fourth. One seventy one for three.
Dylan Barty got the got the wicket and the penultimate ball of the last over. Loves again and pushed straight down the ground. It'll be two. And descents off the mark. Left-hand batsman. First one that we've seen today for Cornwall. And pushes this just to the left of mid-on. And then gets a single. So some good positive intent being shown there by the uh, Cornwall batsman. Just a forward defensive shot to cover. Galash. And the overall update, the uh, other schools going on in the Headley Health competition. City Guard. Premier Men's Comp. There's a this flick down to square leg. Always makes me cringe, the uh, long barrier. I was never a fan of it as a kid. And used it when I had to when playing. Um, a couple of years ago, I was playing my first game Tuesday before Christmas. Guy I was batting with, we were playing last man stands. The guy I was batting with got hit in a certain part of his body. I'll leave it up to you guys to guess which part of his, a male's body he got hit in. Um, without wearing protection on it as well. So this one's just blocked. He did an amazing attempt. Um, from stopping himself from doing an Inzamam al Haq and falling over his own stumps. Carried on playing. I went out, fielded, and bowled a couple of overs, did the long barrier off one ball, and uh, broke my ankle. Twisted funny. So I limped off. The other guy carried on playing. Yes, this one is flicked behind square. And this is going to be a retrieval case for the Eden Pro, Pro Water Blasting Eden Roskill fielder. It's four runs to end the over. And Galage now 46, 178 for three. And the thing to thing to finish that story with, I um, took caught up with the team in the new year and asked how he was doing and. Uh, that certain part of the body got hit and he had ruptured. So I limped off with a broken ankle and he carried on playing with the ruptured, um, yeah. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, I was soft then. Well, well, uh, well, well, what, what, once we found out he was okay, I asked him, do you have any kids? And he goes, two. And I go, well, you, you know, you're done then, aren't you? <laughs> Safi to continue from the northern end. Just a bit of a Ford prod from Descent. Three or four at the moment. 
It's half the first ball of his 11th over, none for 33. Left alone here for descent, just shoulders his arms. North Shore Cricket in their second innings need another 93 runs to make Takapuna bat in the fourth innings at Oniwa Domain. Parnell in their second innings, they've got six wickets in hand and a lead of 130 at Colin Maiden Park against University. And Suburbs New Lynn require another 74 runs to make Eden, uh, East Coast Bays bat again with four second wicket second innings wickets in hand. Oh, this one's just played on the crease and dead battered. Cornwall Cricket Club, one of the biggest, uh, I think it is the biggest Australasian Cricket Club, Cricket Club in Australasia, which considering how many Cricket Clubs um, there are in Australia, that's a pretty decent record. This one's shouldered arms, down leg. Former players like uh, Martin Crow, great late Martin Crow. As the next one is driven down to mid off. Think of any? I was just gonna. I was like, I'm pretty sure Mark Great Batch was another. <laughs> Ends a maiden over, 178 for three. Yes, great batch. Um, I saw him playing in a charity game at Cornwall Park a couple of years ago. Yeah. And he just stood there and hit the ball like he was 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I played in that pre-the World Cup, and Martin played in that game too. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. The uh, 2015 yeah. Yeah, yeah. World Cup. Was it 17 he died? Martin Crow? I would have actually thought pre 2015 to be honest. But... No. Yeah. Um, Adam Prory is, and it um, just alluded to as another player. Here's the first ball from Barty. It's flicked round leg. Down to find leg, square leg, having to come round and I'll pick up two. The um, game that I saw uh, Mark Greatbatch last play, Dion Nash was bowling as well. And I'll tell you what, he, you know, he's a bit older in the leagues as he uh, told me. Um, but he was still sending those balls down in a quick hurry. This one played behind 
square. Chase coming in for a couple of fielders. But it's four runs. And then it's 50 for Dimitri Gallage. Coming off 66 balls. He's played pretty well. There's been a couple of chances, but he's also um, been quite attacking as well. Positive cricket. And this one. He's let the bat go a couple of times just the use the one hand. Comes Barty, and it's up over the slips, and four runs. It's not the first time Galage has gone that way. It's played with a lot of um, oomph in it to get it over those slips, nonetheless. This one's flicked and up over square leg this time. And another four to the total. Galage on a bit of a roll at the moment. Into 57th over. 192 for three. Uh, last update at Kennard's High Community Oval was, was 154 for 6. Auckland Ace is being asked to bat against uh, when Northern Districts won the toss earlier this morning. Safi to continue. And is this one's pass point, thought of it. And absolutely no question of the results. Another four back to back boundaries this time. Lucas descent. Moves on to seven now, does Lucas.
after that for a couple of good dots here from Safi. Auckland Aces have just lost their seventh wicket. Simon Keane gone for 18. Adi Ashok and um, Harrison at the crease. Next ball, and it's just driven down the ground, but Madon stops it, no problems. Weather forecast doesn't look good for another two days, for a full game, a full four days of cricket, unfortunately. It's Monday, Tuesday, being told it looks as though it's going to be rolling in the rain. There's a nice little Ford prod. And on the bike goes Descent. And they pick up a single. He's on to eight. And it's gone from scorer to weather lady. I figured you were looking at something. <laughs> As this has gone behind point and a good sprawling save there. As it's one nine seven for three, I've missed the second second four on the over. Come uh, back into the attack. Yes, just going back to that earlier point that uh, Annette's reckons it's rain's going to come in at about five o'clock. And I tell you what, the, the um, temperature has dropped, and even the atmosphere has really changed in the last half an hour. This rate. Unless something really starts to spark, um, we're looking at a, only a first innings result. We've had 44 overs in the day, 96 for the minimum. No, Neil, someone told me 90 something last week. And yeah, it was last week, but someone 96 or something. Yeah, it was 96. So. so yeah, AD, I was pretty sure that's what AD oh, said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, off the top of my head, we've got 52 overs minimum to be bowled. Um... Which Cornwall would need another 180 runs to get first innings points with seven wickets in hand. Gets on the sweep and mid wicket comes around and fields it. Gets a run though. Galage now onto 62. A single two.
two balls left in this over and sprawling save can't pull it off on this boundary either and it's four runs That broom out and started sweeping quite well. Oh, that's Lucas on strike, isn't it? Yep. So I've got the wrong batsman. And left alone and ends the over. Two oh three for three after fifty nine. Two dots to start the Safi over. Bit of scratching going on behind the stumps there from Neil Patel, just getting his footing right. A lot of wicket keeping is about footwork. Making sure you get off the right foot as well. You are not playing today, Sahil and uh, Sahil Rawat yeah. and another player for, uh, for Eden Roskill. Karan Gandhi, put Karan. Yes, Karan Banker is the other player not playing. And the Ford Prod here from Galage. Matt Gibson is. Um, off is playing for the Aces, so he he's not playing for Cornwall this week. And sorry, and it uh, who came in? Aman. Um, oh, Asha Bagaram. Asha Bagaram came in for Matt Gibson. The changes from last week's two teams in this two day. I'm going to come in this new over, and it's uh, all been dots so far. Connect the dots. We'll post my photos to Bev's Broadcasting official Facebook page in coming days. As this one is through square leg. A pick up two to end the over, and it's 205 for three. Um, just be aware, folks, I do put watermarks on my photos. The only... only reason why I do that is um, to stop every, anyone and everyone from um, using my photos if you would like. A photo just um, message the page with which photo you'd like without the watermark and I can see what we can do for you G 
Jake Kumar to continue. First ball from Gallage. No, from Descent, sorry. It's back to Kumar. And so is the second ball as well. Live stream brought to you by Bev's Broadcasting. As big swing across the line, and believe that was going down. Didn't we? My name is Bevan Jenkins, and set up Bev's Broadcasting five years ago. Just gone five years ago at the end of September. Fourth ball is a dot. I've covered um, rugby, cricket, wheelchair rugby. Um, wheelchair rugby is actually was what gave me the idea of live streaming. It's led me to go overseas four times in my life. Sydney three times. Went to, uh, went to Japan in July for wheelchair rugby. A uh, goalball, which is a vision impaired sport. Only time I've ever seen an indoor sport being delayed by the weather. It was raining so hard that they couldn't hear the ball, the bell inside the ball. There was method to the reasoning. It was stopped on a number of occasions. Good old Auckland weather. 206 for three. Um, I've done field hockey, I've um, yeah, I've done quite a bit, this year's been an interesting one, um, after, just a triggering warning here folks, um, after attempting suicide at the start of the year, two weeks later, um, I was live streaming and commentating two Super Rugby preseason games, so um, yeah, it's been a... <laughs> Topsy two the year, <laughs> including that tr great trip to Japan that I had. Yeah, yeah, Zeb back into the attack. Switching ends from today's first session. It's now bowling at the northern end. First ball of dot, second ball now. And just tucks underneath us, does Lucas. 13 off 23. One's down leg. Bit of a cry of catch it, but um, 
as well watch down the league site. Yeah, yeah, so it's a big appeal for RBW. Quick shake of the head from the umpire. Great to see that the um, players are respecting the umpire's decisions. As soon as the decision is made, they, they carry on with the game rather than stand there and hands on hips and Zeb's just getting this firing through one to come in the over it's a deep fine leg a backward a deep Backward square leg in front of us, and they're both enjoying it. They, um, no, yeah, yeah, can really get some chin music going. As the next one, it's just pushed down to mid off. A good stop, and finishes the maiden over 206 for three after 62. I do apologise there folks, I um, clicked the wrong button that said that a wicket had gone. I was meant to hit over, not a uh, wicket. Garage on 64 and Descent on 13. Kumar to continue. Can oh, pro water basting Eden Roskill here find a wicket? One brings two and all those cliches. waiting it just comes forward and prods at it Kemar's got a slip backward square leg short fine leg mid wicket mid on mid off cover and point As this one goes through mid wicket, uh, through cover and mid off, extra, extra cover and they pick up two. Pleasure to have you company, folks, if you are tuned in. Uh, the other reason, a couple of reasons why I set up the live stream was to bring community sport. As I was saying, um, got, I had the pleasure of covering two Super Rugby pre-season games. Um, even New Zealand Rugby community person turned around and said, you're not going anywhere with your community stuff, are you? And I said, no, that is always going to be my driving heartbeat. Yeah, as comes down the wicket, does Gallage fix this. Between square league and mid-wicket, chase going on, but they'll pull it in. And it'll be just two. If someone wants anything community based done, I'll pretty much cover it. The only reason why I don't is if. Um, I don't have power access, or um, I'm busy. Generally, it's because I'm busy. Uh, 
If you're watching and looking for a receptionist or an admin data entry person, get in touch too. I am looking for a part-time job. As Gallage comes down the wicket and just plays it back to Kumar. And ends the 63rd, 2-10 for three. I'm hopeful that the job interview I had the other night might um, come through. Fingers crossed. So a single off the first ball of Yaya's new over. Yes. Score two at the one moment. One. Two, is one, one. Three. 211 for three in the 64th. Garage on. 68 to cent on 14. Second ball just fended down. Back to the bowler. Third ball so results a single reception. Oh. Zeb, one for 21. Zeb holds his fourth ball of his over and just fends this away to mid off. Not a ball of his eighth over is left alone.
Last ball of the over. Two off it. Two, one, two for three. Yeah, yeah, Zeb. Eight overs, one for 21. And that drinks halfway through the second day here. Cornwall two, 12 for 3. They've had 50 overs, so 46 to be. Minimum of 46 to be bowled. Is it drinks break or deep? Yeah, dr it's break. definitely drinks. Um, so they need 46 overs for another 158 to get first innings victory here. Be back shortly.
All right, so the drinks break is over. Jeet Kumar to start at the southern end. Halfway through the second day of the day two Headley Howarth City Guard Premier Men's Competition. Of day two, the second ball. Left arm up round. Flicks us down as Cal Corner comes round. There was a call of two, but um, it's a pretty enthusiastic two from Galash. Moves on to 69, uh, 70, sorry. When I hit the right button. One result in already from uh, around the grounds. As this ball's back to the bowler. East Coast Bays have beaten Suburbs New Lynn by an innings and 31 runs. And an outright result. As this one is teed off. Away goes Descent. And it is all the way for six. Moves on to 20 of 34 now. Kumar changing to left arm over. And a sweep. Appeal for LBW. Turn down though. Empire gave it a bit of a thought. Empires for this one as the camera's just turned off. G. G. Jeeth and Mahesh, big thanks to them lending their day. Yeah. Right, Jeeth. Oh, yeah. So knows what he's doing there. 65 overs gone, 219 for 3. And I tell you what, when you've got someone like uh, Doug Cowie overseeing you, <laughs> yeah. I had the pleasure of talking to him. Actually, I had to chase him around Cornwall, Cornwall Cricket Club once, so I went to go and speak to him. And he okay. shot off, he kept moving. And um, unfortunately, I was on an e scooter as well, so it wasn't the most easiest thing I could do. Yeah. <laughs> and I had a good chat to. Um, Good chat to him. He was a pleasant bloke to talk to. Is Doug Cowie? Yeah, right. Who was who was the bowler? Doug Dev. 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 Dev the new bowler. He. Uh, he had a six against you. Yeah. Doug Cowie umpired at the '99 Cricket World Cup. I think he, he did a lot more than that, but uh, I do know he was a, one of the top umpires in '99. In England. Yeah, that's just backs in his crease and punches this away. And one of the clubs I'm associated with down in Hamilton, um, and it is Kaipaki Cricket Club. Oh. Do you know where that is? No. It is a five minute stroll almost from Hamilton Airport. Oh, really? okay. And the grandfather of that ground is John Parker. No. You'd know the name John Parker? His second to last One Day International. The answer to this was on February the 1st, 1981. What happened on that day? You see, nobody gets this. 
It's a famous date in New Zealand history. This one's left alone. February the 1st, 1981, Brian McKechnie came out to bat at the MCG. John Parker was the second to last wicket before Ian Smith fell and brought Brian McKechnie out. Um, there's a great photo of one of the West Indians um, kicking the stumps over at the Basin Reserve. Unhappy. It was the first time I think New Zealand had beaten the West Indies. I think it was Joel Garner kicking the stumps over. Did that because John Parker was not given was not given out LBW. <laughs> so as I put name that um, some people don't know don't know, but he's definitely had some <laughs> moments in New Zealand cricket. <laughs> so made an over. Give right to nine nine overs nine to thirty seven. Do you know the photo, Nitin? Do you know the photo I'm talking about? I'll show you. I'll find it, and yeah. It's Jake to continue from the southern end. She didn't know it wasn't Joel Garner, it was Michael Holden who cut the stumps down. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was one of the big West Indian players. <laughs> This is my first ball of Kumar's first over, next over is slapped through cover for two. I don't think it really mattered, did it? <laughs> <laughs> With that bowling attack, it was a blink and you miss. <laughs> Have you bowled yet? Oh, wait, now hang on a minute. Here comes the next one. Won the World Cup 1983 the first time. Yep. So they actually very recently they made a whole movie on. Yes, happened. I've seen it. Is it yeah. um, Netflix? Uh, yes, could be. Yeah, I tried 83. watching it, but. 83, 83, yeah. Yes. Can you guys movie. give me a second? I was just going to bring up <laughs> cricket movies, eh? <laughs> I was just about to bring up cricket movies. <laughs> so when you were saying it, you uh, close your eyes and the ball goes away. So that's one thing. Uh, show that they, when the Indian team goes and they see the West Indies team practicing, then one of the openers, Shrikan, yeah. he tells everyone else, oh my god, you know, we can't even get to see the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's four. That, that four at that time, we were like prom. underdogs, you know, hardly won one match. Oh, that's yeah. It. You guys came from nowhere. Yeah. Almost like what Australia did in 87, actually, with Alan Border. Third ball of the over, goes for a single. So here's the photo here, Nathan. Oh my god, he's like, yeah. like a tiger. So that's what I mean, but it's a very famous photo. He, he's got his foot right up. There's one stump in the ground. <laughs> the next ball is a dot. Yeah, look it up, folks. West Indies kicks stumps off. Uh, um, yes, it was someone pretty. Was it Fred? Yeah. That was another famous umpire as well. So I'll have a look and see whether it was Fred Goodall, I think is who I'm thinking of. Yeah, is it NZ over? 2-2-3 two, two, three for 3. Of course, um, <clears throat> over the long weekend here, um, we got to see the Warney mini-series. That's uh, the legendary Shane Keith Worms. Quite, quite good. Did you, did you? No, it was, it was very good. Um, it was funny because uh, the uh, guy who played Shane Warn and the guy who played his wife ended up in hospital after filming a uh, scene in the bedroom. <laughs> I thought that nothing screams um, like Sh Shane Warn than something like that. <laughs> 
Yes, oh, it's a very good ball. From Ratra. I don't think Descent had um, much idea about that. Main thing is, for him at least, he's at the end, still a... Still a two dots to start the over. Yes, so he's not... Is it, what's it called, sorry? 1983. Oh, it's just 83. Yeah. On Netflix. Um, about the uh, Indian team that won the first ever non-West Indies team to win a World Cup. You can find it on Netflix. Yeah, he's backs away and punches this down to point. Start to walk for a single, but um, not on offer there. Kalaj was interested. Five dots and walk down the pitch, beats Smith on and kicks off on a bit of the turf and it's going to hold up as well. And they end up with three runs as is a bit of a thought of an overthrow but ends the over. 2-2-6 two, two, to 3. Another really good series um, if anyone's wanting to watch especially about the West Indies pace attack is um, Fire in Babylon. It is about the West Indies pace attack in the 70s. Um, there was also a, a mini-series um, called Bodyline. Yeah, that, that is an excellent series. Australia, oh, sorry, England. England in the Australia. 30s. Yeah. And the only time they managed to um, quieten Don Bradman. And that's, and that's, well, I was actually just thinking because we had two players behind square at one point. Um, and I'm, I was expecting a bit of chin music from Yaya. Yeah, not allowed, not, not allowed um, more than two players behind square on the leg side in cricket due to the body line series. And Australia uh, were bounced out basically from England. They just bulged short balls after short balls and pretty much put everyone but a couple of fielders behind square and it worked managed to beat what was then a great Australian side led by the legendary Don Bradman yeah, the funny part was you remember, remember about reverse swing like now it is oh, it just happens reverse swing. but when uh, Pakistan did it for the first time they were actually fined and everything yeah, well it, well, it wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, they didn't understand it. it. Yeah. There was no way Wakar and Wazim were doing that legally in the 90s. This yes, has been some great international pace attacks in the world. But at the same time, of course, you um, can't go past the likes of Shane Warne. Um, like him or hate him, a tie in Mur Um And then even Anil Kumble Yeah, Anil. Oh. Only three players in history have ever taken 10 wickets in a test match. And. Um, um, no, no. Um, first one was an English player, John or Jack, against Australia. Second one was Anil Kumble against Pakistan in 1999, and then of course the most, and of course the most recent being um, Ajaz Patel in India. Only only player only player of the three to have taken ten wickets and lose. And lose his photos. 
Yes. That's where they took 10 wickets and then he was dropped. Pretty much. <laughs> but it shows what how New Zealand think of spinners, and especially on our wickets as well. It's a single off the penultimate ball. Gallage now on 75. There's a, um, a reason why I started... I mean, I've always been enjoying doing stats and that. But what's really kick-started me was that in 2020, a guy playing for Fraser Tech in a two-day game, as this one's punched down to extra cover on the boundary, and they pick up a single NZ over, 228 for three. Yeah, guy, in, guy playing two-day prem, premier cricket picked up ten in one innings, five in the other, and they still lost outright. <laughs> that, that's, they're just unfortunate, isn't it? You know, you pick up all the wickets in one innings, half the wickets in the other, and you still manage to lose in a two-day game. Yeah. No, but that just means that, you know, the other bowlers are not up to the mark. Well, the batsman as well. And I, I, well, I mean, I, I don't think you'd I mean, call him an all-rounder, but he can definitely hold a bat. No, I mean, like, the other team would have still scored 400, and there could only be one bowler who would take... I can't remember off the top of my head yeah. the scores. It wasn't... It was definitely four innings. Yeah. That's what my junior coach told me last season. So we had 212 innings, one lost every single match. The other still managed to win a few because it was the first time they were playing. So I had a chat with both. Now the one which still won a couple of matches, they said, he said, you know, I tell my players that, you know, you may have a good day, but the team may have a bad day. Oh, but definitely. He may have a bad day, but he... Yeah, so As Rock's back slashes this down to third man. And it's four runs. Lucas Descent gets another boundary. And that's the thing. I mean, cricket is about individuals, but at the end of the day, it is still a team sport. That's what I'm saying. So you could take a 10 wicket, but if the, yeah. if the team would have scored, oh, definitely. Ball, nobody else really would have <laughs> well. That's right, Trek got in reply. Bowls him! Beautiful delivery! And the fourth wicket goes. Lucas descent. Hits the top of middle and off. Wonderful. And descent has gone 28 of 44 deliveries. Bold Devratra. And it's what Eden Roskill, pro water blasting Eden Roskill needed. New batsman, Sadish sticks it. So I was just rolling my R's around and S's around and trying to remember to breathe at the same time. <laughs> they tell He's right. 
his first ball just fends him, gets it past short mid wicket. Gets a gets off the mark, first ball. It's difficult for an off spinner to bowl to a left arm. Sorry, it's normally a better way to bowl to a left arm, but Dave is better with the right arm. Those left hand right hand combinations, are, I think, for any bowler, but especially a spin bowler, it's quite hard. There's Ratra. Oh, is it down leg? There's one for 47. Auckland Aces 180 for 8. Currently, over in Kennard's Hyatt Community Oval. This one. Well stopped at mid off. They get a single, but saves three runs. And this one's just run off the face. From Dixit, pops up a single. That'll be the end of 70 overs. 235 for four. So Jake Kamar bowls and dicks it, just comes forward and defends. Uh, no, there's no recording of the first first day. Um, I was here taking photos last Saturday, but um, that was just to see what the setup's like and introduce myself to great people like Nathan. Club manager. This game being played on the number one pitch of Keith Hay Park. Yeah, actually, I, I did cover that to, to start with in the day, didn't I? That um, the facilities that they have, it's not quite. Um, Cornwall Park, but um, <coughs> they can't all be, but it's still pretty good for a cricket ground. It's three pitches to the right of screen. As I say that, it turns off this one. Down past little bit off. I'll pick up two. Um, next week. Eden Roskill, the water blast, pro water blasting Eden Roskill will take on East Coast Bays in a two day match. Uh, that second day will also be live streamed as it ends the over. 2.37 for four as we approach half an hour to the tea break. I'm only a one-man band, unfortunately, folks. So um, next week I 
have commitments at um, Hotapu Rugby Club in Cambridge, doing the Waikato um, Club uh, Club Sevens. We'll be back for day two and a bit more action in the season. Bit of refreshments run on quickly for the batsman. That's right, try about to get underway again on the northern end. Garge on 76. Comes down the wicket and just pushes this past mid wicket. Cal Corner comes in and that's one gets through for a single. This one to point for no run. What's your weather map saying at the moment, Annie? It's, it's possibly rain by four. I can't see four. Four o'clock and five o'clock. It's possible, yeah. I mean, if I knew what the weather, uh, uh, if I could tell exactly what the weather was doing, I'd be um, a millionaire. Exactly. But I... There's a peel for court behind. Oh. And given! So this, that's it's not happy. Umpire gave it a long thought. Oh. No, no. I think it's okay. Caught by keeper. Who did it was a bowler? So Dixit gone, four off eleven, uh, four off twelve deliveries. Ratra has a second. Caught Neil Patel, bold Ratra, and Cornwall leave the, lose their fifth. What was this going on? Jamie Hayes.
Jamie Hayes, the new batsman. 21st most fours in, since the start of 2021. A 34 of them. The Auckland Premier two-day competition. Hayes pulls this one round behind square. It's a man on the boundary. Ends over, 239 for five. New ball of the Kumar over. Starts with the dot. There's a peel for LBW, but I think there was a better bat in that. Well, there's a thing we're just talking about here. Um, about being wrong and all that and being an official um, it was a credit well people said Albert Einstein did it but apparently it's been shown he didn't but I still think it's a good thing where he walked into class right on the chalkboard one t t t 9 times 1 equals 9 9 times 2 you know did the 9 times table until he got down to 9 times 9 and I think he wrote I think it said he wrote 80 instead of 81 and people laughed. And he, you know, as this story goes, that apparently has been disproven. He turned to the class and said, I've made eight examples perfectly correct and nobody said anything wrong. It was the one time I made a mistake that you guys laughed. And I was like, and that's how we see life. Yeah, how human psychology is all about. Yeah. <laughs> And it's and it's not right. <laughs> Five dot balls in the over. I think one of the reasons in the uh, 90s that General Electric became the employee's company was because they had a reverse policy. They were only looking at the positive and the strengths of the employees. Yeah. And they, and they started the trend of being, you know, whether the company is employee-oriented or not employee-oriented. Changes going on in the field. Long on straightening and going back to the boundary. Oh, Kumar's thought he might have had Hayes there, but it's a maiden. If he picks up one, and he's going to get very deadly after that. Just needs to taste blood. Better. He's a shark, are you saying? <laughs> he's just like he's that kind. So he picks up one. Yes, yes. You know, remember Baji uh, Harbhajan Singh? He was used to be the same. If he was not getting wickets, his bowling would go erratic, his fielding wouldn't be good. And the moment he picked he up was a really a motivated player, wasn't he? He had to have some motivation. Mm. Kumar in the last couple, two years, seven matches, 32 wickets. RPO of 2.3, but a pretty decent average of 11.6. So he's conceding under 12 runs for every wicket in a two-day game. That might change in this game, considering he hasn't had any wickets yet. There's a quick single run. That's the first ball of Rutra's over. 
I will endeavour to um, fix that camera issue that I've got going on at the moment. When I'm back on the 11th. Who's that? Oh, no, I haven't, haven't paid enough attention. Second ball's just a dot, and I can tell you that the atmosphere start to pick up here from Eden Roskill. Hayes just comes forward, sends it away. Sweeps this time. Oh, good save there from Ford Square Leg. Jamie Hayes doesn't seem to be in any rush. This pushes this one back to the bowl with a bit more intent, though. one's left alone. So a bit of an update around the grounds in the uh, Plunkett Shield at T. Uh, Auckland have been bowled out for 184 after being asked to bat first against Northern Districts at uh, Kennard's High Community Oval. Wellington have been bowled out for 201 against Central Districts. Can you check this? You can see the score? Yeah, how much individual players in uh, Wellington, uh, how much did Ersman score? Hang on, I'm going to go and find the Canterbury score. Because last I heard, um, who flung dung? Um, Henry Nichols was in the 90s. They're 204 for four after Otago asked them to bat first. And Henry Nichols is... Apologies, Nathan, I forgot. As down put the pitch comes Gallage. And it's four runs. First 82 now. Sorry, Nathan, I forgot why you were asking about Wellington. I forgot Mohamed Abbas is down there. Yeah. But Henry Nichols has brought up his century. It's on 101. Yeah, I would have gone to Muhammad if I'd realised why you were asking about Wellington. Yeah. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Gallage just pushes us down to Cow Corner for a single. It's the next one from left arm round the wicket. Jamie Hayes gets a single, pushes it to the right of mid on. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why he said it was the first game, I think it was the, he was playing first. Uh, the, oh, that's yeah. basically it. Yeah. Down the wicket comes Gallage, but he can't get past short cover. Interesting to field set up the pro water blasting Eden Roskill side has here. See, penultimate ball flicked off his legs to square leg. Fields it, so there's square leg. Cow corner on the boundary. Long on, mid off. Short extra cover. Cover. And point as well as one slot in place. For Jake Kumar, you can just see this. Feels as though there's something that's going to give here soon. 
As Gillard takes another couple of steps down the wicket. They pick up a single. Gillard will stay on strike. It's 2 4 7 for 5. Cornwall, 123 runs behind Eden Roskill's first innings. They've had 61 overs of um, play today. Tea break is a quarter of an hour away. So you'd imagine maybe another five overs, of maximum probably of five overs in um, this middle session left. Batra strikes, starts and uh, just a forward defensive shot there from Galash. Uh, this guy is uh, not even 19 years old, is it? Really? Yeah. Oh, Dev. Dev, 19 years old. <laughs> yeah, 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 just, I think 10 days ago he had his first, so he's just 19 years old. And this one, a second ball to Galash, yeah, just pushed down to yeah, long on. Baller chase up, he is, I think he's only 18. It's alright, the last game I was commentating, r rugby, I said one of the touch judges was on the wrong side of 50, and he goes, I'll take that, it's actually 60. <laughs> He's 61, he said. He goes, I'll take that I'm on the wrong side of 50. <laughs> As oh, swipes it, it from the up, oh, stop. I was like, well, that wasn't the insult I was intending. <laughs> oh, the... the you know, these guys give me enough stick that I have to mention that sort of thing when I get the chance. <laughs> Fourth ball of the over. Can't get this past point. Jamie Hayes, two off 16. And then, you know, we had uh, last quarter's first game with Ennis too, and then Shashi's first game was also in it. Hasn't an average of 42 and a half in 10 matches in the last two years? What is the best average in the Auckland Premier two day comp? Is this one swept? And forward of square. And it'll be four runs. In the over. First ball of the new over takes a single. Hey, six off eighteen now. Dimitri Gallage, eighty six. At the other end. There's no pressure on the, the overs, right? Uh, they can just they just need to exceed our runs. That's all. That right? Yeah. But they still uh, well. But Hayes leads this one alone. Time. 
No, I mean they can bat the whole day and just yeah. get yeah. past them. Yeah. Yeah. Third ball. Hey, sweeps behind square. And it is four runs. You've seen Jeep play before, right? No? Can you wait for that plus? Seems as though my homework is to try and work out um, A where one way camera charges are and B if I use this camera that I'm using today um, how to stop making it go to sleep so, so often. So this one's just pushed off its pads. Good call of no. just comes forward and dead bats it basically and ball left in the 77 might have a look at that in the uh, tea break and see where they can get something sorted this is under 10 minutes to play 257 for 5 Colonel 113 runs behind on their first innings with five wickets in hand. starts and just left alone might have hit Patel's uh, gloves there so it deviated just a bit off to first slot oh galage so to be careful here Done well to get a six highest score of the innings. Second highest score of the game gets to 87. If you're an Australian, you'd be a bit worried. Australians, when they're playing cricket, it's a fear of 87. If you're wondering why, it's because uh, 13's, another 13 is 100. And Hayes is peel for LBW, but uh, not interested as the umpire. Two balls left in Rutra's 17th, and just comes forward and plays it defensively. Played and they pick up a single behind square. 
so far today, there's been uh, two results in the Head Headley Health competition. North Shore have been North Shore have been beaten by an innings against Takapuna. They have lost by an innings and eighty three runs. Auckland University need a hundred and thirty six to beat Parnell and they're currently twenty two for three. So need another when my maths works out. Um hundred and twenty four runs. With seven wickets in hand. This one's pulled round. Oh, taken! What a catch! Beauty! An absolute stunner for the square. And the six wicket goes. And that sees the end of Jamie Hayes for 11. That is the tea break. Cornwall, 2.59 for six. We'll be back in about half an hour. And could be a very telling um, last session here. Outright result, pretty much gone. But first innings points on, um, on the line.
All right, welcome back. Last session of day two. It's a two-day match. Headley Health game. Outright result pretty much gone. But um, we're in a fight for first innings. At least you get points for first innings in two-day matches. As well as um, batting and bowling points. Cornwall, they've got four wickets in hand, four second innings wickets in hand. And they need 112 runs to get past Eden Roskill's first innings total of 370 for seven. And a T at the... Um, First, after one ball, due to the fall of Jamie Hayes, down to Rutgers bowling, and that one's left alone. And it's 2.59 for six. Deverat tries to start. Comes down the wicket, does Gallage. Beats extra cover. Long off comes around. They take a single. And updating the other games in the Headley Health. Two have completed. Take a Puna with a innings and um, 83 run win over North Shore Auckland Uni in, in the fourth innings their second 31 for three needing 146 to win so 115 required with seven wickets in hand there's, there's two runs Extra cover this time, and in the other game, East Coast Bays having won that one by an innings and uh, 53 runs. East Coast Bays here at Keith Hay Park is it's down the leg. I've just got a little bit of a touch on that. No run. East Coast Bay is playing the next two Saturdays here. And for a defensive shot, just seen it's uh, Akarana Golf Club that's um, at the top right hand of screen behind the uh, cricket nets. Actually, you can't see the nets here, but you can see the trees that line. Up on the hill there. That's the penultimate ball. It's just fought and defended there from Fisher. Auckland Ace is all um, at Kennard's High Community Oval, having been. Asked to bat first by Northern Districts, 184 all out. Northern Districts aren't doing too bad in reply, 21 without loss after five overs. So this one's hit down to the cover boundary. 
And ends the over. 263 for six. Josh Fisher on three. Gallage on 88. And it looks as though the new ball is being asked for. The umpires at least asked for it. Oh, no. He's <laughs> After a jacket, fair enough, too. Some silly people are still in shorts and shirt, I tell you. <laughs> Wait and see if the new ball has been taken. There is certainly some work being done on one ball out there. Have gone up past 80 overs. There's a bit of confusion in Miss Field to start the new over. The new ball hasn't been taken. Kumar to continue from the southern end. Left alone. Bevan Jenkinson of Bebs Broadcasting with you. Great to have your company, folks, wherever you are, even if you are uh, down pitch side, down by the boundary. Is, oh. is it taken? I think it is! The seventh bucket falls! And Josh Viss is gone. Just waiting to see who's taking the catch. It's Kanath Gambia. Is the man who's taken the catch? And the seventh wicket falls for Cornwall. Yeah. Our one week team just smashed into key. Ten for just ten runs all out. Oh, sorry, for nineteen runs all out. The captain uh, took five wickets and made thirty-four. Runs. Uh, what grade? Uh, one B. So one B, one day championship. Eden Roskill of uh, Rob time to a victory, bowling out to the opposition for nineteen. No, no, that's Kanav. Who's the new batsman there? Um, Asha? 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 What's the name of the batsman? Yeah, Asha, just getting it Asha. confirmed that it is Asha. Bag it up. Get the crease. I'll update that scoreboard in a second. Two dot balls though for him to start. It's the third ball just plays it on the crease. And ends the over 263 for seven. Jake Kumar has a wicket. 
Do you think it's yeah. the second two now? Yeah. The one? He just needs one and then uh, last no one. Don't, don't, don't. Just being told he's actually got two wickets. Two dots, wicket, three dots. Okay. 263 for seven after 81. Minimum of 29 overs. Left, whether depending, it has started to cloud over. How was the exam? How was the exam? How was your exam? The morning outing was good with the girls? Over from Dev, Dev Ratra, punches it down. Galage just can't find these runs. He wants 12 for a personal milestone of a century. This one gets that single down to long on. Just uh, I do apologise, folks. Dev has Rutro has got two wickets, not the three that's been shown. They were about to win, no? And I can't um, go back and change win, that. Backs away and just comes forward and backs away then and just slaps it to point. Just bigger him. the dot ball. Couple of singles, then the over, it's uh, 266 for seven. 105, Cornwall need to take first innings points. Three wickets, Eden Roskill do. We'll share the points though, if um, neither outcome has resulted for first innings. Jake Kumar didn't play on Saturday, last Saturday. Brought in today. Along with the ARZ. Single to start the new over. The uh, field comes in. It's a play on the mid-wicket boundary. The only player out. Let's see. Second ball to bag at him. Just comes forward and defends. It's one slip. Point. Cover. Extra cover. Mid-off. Mid-on. And mid-wicket. 
when it's um, another a mid wicket boundary rider. There'll be highlights and um, photos posted to Bev's Broadcasting official Facebook page in the coming days. From this match, if you go there, you can see photos taken um, of last Saturday. Oh, he's gone for a big heave over mid-wicket, and all he's done is got a leading outside edge through vacant third slip, and they pick up two. Runs of runs. Being a uh, pr proud uh, number 11 batsman. I live, definitely live by that. <laughs> runs of runs, don't care how. Tokyo White. There's a bit of a lap around the corner. And chase going on. The ball's not going to reach the boundary. And they'll pick up another two. 271 for seven. No sign of the new ball yet. Another dot? Just yeah, that's, 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 that's. One more dot. And another dot there. Seven, six, four, seven. Five off the over. Oh. It is two seventy six for seven. Yep. So while they were doing this thing, unfortunately lost. No. <laughs>
Jeet Kumar to start another over from the southern end. Second ball, first one went for a single down the ground. And Asher just fends it down the ground, down, down, that, down the pitch. Back at him on 93. It's Kumar. Bowls another one, this one's just the extra cover. Dalambati has to move around a bit further. To more mid wicket than front of square on the boundary. And just can't get hold of it there, buggered him. Tommy goes down the ground again, down to mid off for a dot. The Black Ferns in the World 50 or WV1 competition, Play it taking on Wales at the moment, 27 nil at half time. The Black Ferns are leading. Trying to bounce back after losing to France last week. 277 for 7 after 85. Of course, uh, Black Caps taking on Australia at 9.30pm today in the World Cup. It's almost a must-win for Australia. Um, they haven't had a great start to the uh, World Cup, but they net, net run rate's pretty incredible after thrashing uh, the Dutch by 300 runs the other night. New Zealand, they've only had that one loss to India. But, uh, Pakistan, lost yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Pakistan lost to South Africa by a solitary wicket. Defending 270 out off the top of my head. As Deb Rutch was next over. Yeah, it's this time Galaj goes down the pitch takes a step and a half and takes a single because the wires of World Cups go to Stade de France at 8am tomorrow morning who's going to win the uh, their fourth World Cup will it be the Springboks Will it be the men in black? Hooked round! And yeah. taken! Taken in a great catch! Wicket falls! The eighth man gone. They should back at him. 9 off 21. He departs. Didn't judge that well behind square there on the boundary, but managed to take it nonetheless.
Sam is Singh, the new batsman. Have an hour and uh, just over, just under an hour's play left in today's uh, two hours play. Sorry, play, but um, I can't imagine if um, if Eden Roscoe were to get the two wickets. There'd be any play after that, but um, who knows? So Kumar just start uh, starts with the dot. Not one. It's getting late in the day. Yeah, wrong bit. I, I was wondering why the helmet for um, Dimitri. Yeah. All of a sudden, apologies. It's one to Cal Corner. If you are interested and you're around folks and would like to give commentary a go, you don't need any experience, just need to be able to talk, hold a conversation. Um, you know, it's sort of a learn as you go thing. I had someone tell me at the age of seven at Netherton Primary School, 10 minutes outside of Pyro, in the Hauriki Plains, uh, suggested to me, why don't you be a commentator? And uh, it's been a lifelong dream. Some of the works for, especially in the last uh, five years. I've got a chance, if my name down is a possible um, commentator at the 2024 Paris Paralympics for wheelchair rugby. Looking forward to New Zealand hosting the uh, Paralympic. Paralympic qualifying tournament in March next year. A bit of a misfield there, as a result in two runs. Give two runs. Sorry, I haven't even put the right um, batsman in. Who is the new batsman? Uh, Samra. So he's off the mark. The balls will be a bit of out of whack. And 
Simmons just goes back in his crease, defends it away. It's 281 for eight. After 87. One run off the. Yeah, three. So David has David Atre has three, not the four that's on screen. And just a four prod there from Samrath. It's a man and silly silly mid off point cover, short mid off mid off. Regulation mid off, long mid on. Sam is almost taking off there, and uh, Dimitri pretty much on his heels. <laughs> Wasn't interested. So, man at square leg. No one out on the boundary. And oh, I was a big heave! Big heave, and everyone's got hands on heads as it goes through the keeper. What Ratra and uh, Neil Patel, the wicket keeper, were wanting. It's played right over the top of that. But still has his wicket intact. Next ball, and this time goes down to mid on this field. And there's probably a run there, but uh, considering it's the last ball of the over. 282 for 8. Dimitri Gallage on 96 to face the first ball of the new over. I'm wondering whether the light's got something to do with that too. It's, it's not dark, dark, but it's. I don't know whether these two would have light matters. Do they need to? Can they not do it just by natural? No, they've, got they've, so they've got to, to yeah. But I mean, even without the light meters, they could turn around and say they can't use pace. Yeah. 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 Sorry, was more my point was yeah. yeah. yeah they can About them not pace. using the new, new ball, yeah. Oh, what we see, yeah, definitely. Galage is, gets a single, it's three off his century. New over that being from Jake Kumar, just talking with Annette from uh, Cornwall Cricket Club about um, light and uh, reason why Eden Roscoe haven't used, haven't taken a new ball. Looks quite light on the uh, camera, but um, definitely clouded over today. Yeah, definitely got clouds over. Yeah. So that possibly maybe 
the reason for not the use of the new, new ball, but uh, Kumar, Jack Kumar from this end and uh, Dev Ratra from the other, are doing enough at the moment. Slip and play, Silly Mid on. Mid wicket, mid off, mid on, cover, extra cover. As that ball's up and over, it's going to go through the mid off and on fielders, and they'll pick up a single. Now the field starts to spread. 87 runs are needed for Cornwall to win on first innings. Two wickets for Eden Roskill. Won't get an outright result this game. Yes, Dimitri just tucks it behind the keeper. And could be... It's four. And a century for Dimitri Gallage. Who's played well, gets a hug from his teammate. And salutes to his team teammates. And the Premier Reserves, who are also here in attendance. And clapping. I'll add my own claps in there when I've uh, finished taking photos. <laughs> As I said, um, a very well deserved team tree. First one for Cornwall Premiers this season. 73.7 Tick under 74. The strike rate's pretty decent. I was just looking at that thing, he's faced nearly 140 balls, so. I think he's possibly given out two, maybe three chances, but. Um, Road is luck, and um, taking the opportunities as this is up, and oh, running back player there can't get it. They take a single to end the over. Two eighty nine for eight. Well, I was talking about the Black Ferns in the um, WV one competition. The Fijian uh, ladies have beaten Kazakhstan in the WV or WXV3 um, competition, 118 nil. <laughs> Slight one there for them. I was at um, I was at the World Cup last year when uh, the Fiji when Fiji claimed their first ever women's World Cup win. It was. A new one of the player squad players and a new uh, one of the assistant coaches for the Fiji side. It does. Is is there a wicket here? I think the yeah, he's come down the wicket and been stumped. Gallage has thrown his wicket away. Oh, stump was up. Sorry, um, was stumped? I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm just going stumped yeah. by um, the fact that there's a few meters down the pitch. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes, how do I? Stumped. Was stumped. The ninth wicket falls, and the great innings being played there by Dimitri Galage. It's 289 for 9. And the last batsman in it is, um, is Ruckman. Raman. Oh, is it Raman? Is it not? Yeah. yeah. Raman Hickman. The uh, new player at the crease. Uh, 
stats there. Um, the second premier match in Auckland since 2021. That was fourth for day. Yep. Yes. And there we were five first. It's a second match, 13 runs at a strike rate of we went out again 72. We went out. Yeah, 13 was 18 balls he faced against Takapuna earlier in the year. Oh. And a good, confident lead first ball. Yeah, see from you're hoping for it though, aren't you, Annie? Uh, <laughs> not say, but we not to <laughs> hey, I didn't argue with you. Yeah. Um. But, what was the four of the four, the sixth wicket? Yeah. Okay. Two five nine. Two five nine. So the lost. Four wickets for 30 runs. Which is a telling story. One ball to come in, Ratra's over. He's only got four, sorry folks, I do apologise, it's not the five that you see on screen. Doesn't get the fifth. 289 for nine. Eden, uh, East Coast Bays and Takapuna have won by innings. In the other game, Auckland University needing 84 runs with five, six, five second wicket and five wickets left in their second innings to beat um, Parnell. As this has gone up, and it's safe, it's gone over everybody. And a run there. Off the first ball, Samra Singh now on four. Rakman Hakma, Hakma, yet to score. This time he goes up and over, down the ground. It's going to pitch and hold. Coming back for two, confidently as well. Pro water blasting, Eden Roskill. Looking to get the first thing to win to start the season here. Premier Men's City Guard Headley Howarth competition. Day two com two day competition. They play East Coast Bays here next Saturday and the following Saturday, fourth and eleventh of November. I'll only be here for the eleventh. Sorry folks. While Cornwall go to Kenwanda Park to play Suburbs New Lynn, who have um, been handsomely beaten. by East Coast Bays by innings and 50 runs. This one's edged. Selling it off was ducking for cover. Ends the over. Two nine two for nine. Um...
Right, now that the microphone's back on, Puma starts us underway again. As this is up, down towards mid-wicket, and Damon Barty just didn't see it. Chance come begging. Just not did not pick it out of those trees. A single. Pin Samrath Singh back on strike. The Ford Prod. Yeah. So that's Raman. Raman Hikmat on strike, sorry. Just comes forward and defends. Get hold of this one either. Ends the over with a dot. Two nine six for nine. So Ratra is on four wickets, not the five that Scoville shows, and almost five at cover. It's bounced in front of him, but they pick up a run. Now comes forward and just plays this down. Mid wicket, two singles to start the over. Both pretty much in the same place, but opposite sides of the pitch. Good forward shot here, back to the bowler. It's a good young Eden Roskill side. You may have heard us uh, talking earlier on the day about um, a couple of 18 and 19 year olds, Dev Ratra. One of those 19 year olds. Oh. As is an appeal for LBW. And not given. Northern Districts are 66 for one in reply of um, Auckland Aces, 184 at Kennard's Higher Community Oval in the Plunkett Shield, second round. Central Stags, as this is up, and doesn't get there. Central Stags, 50 for three against Wellington's 200, 201. And Canterbury. Are still batting 260 for six against the Otago Vaults.
Cole Jamison um, at the crease for the Canterbury team. Former Auckland player, 14 off 26 at the moment. And 298 for 9. I'd actually forgotten that um, Kyle Jamison had gone to Canterbury. Well, he, he actually played his first class career. Thank you. All those an awful boy. Yeah. Exactly. I've met his father. Um, I actually met his father when I met AD. Oh, right. Because um, I can't think of his father, Kyle's father's Mike. name. Sorry? Mike? Yes. Um, at the over, over 50s interprovincial yeah. is when I met um, Mike and uh, Adrian Dale, the yeah. Cornwall coach. Yeah. Slip on short leg, silly mid off, short mid wicket. Is this an appeal for OBW, but too high? Your, your charm hasn't worked. Um, Nitin. Yeah. Maybe it's a reverse I even gave you a plug and said why you'd bugger off. <laughs> There's a fair reason to bugger off too, you know. It's between winning and losing, I don't mind. You, you gotta do what's right for the team. <laughs> Second ball's a dot. I said Adrian Dale's the uh Cornwall Premier Men's coach, also coaches at um, Auckland Grammar School. Helps out there. Man who's played cricket at the top level in first class cricket in New Zealand and in England. Made his name over there as well. Uh, very talented cricketer and even um, captains the New Zealand over 50s side as well as the Auckland side as well. Auckland over 50s. They're gearing up to play the over 50s interprovincial tournament in Dunedin in the new year. A couple of years ago they had it at uh, Cornwall Cricket Club. As Jack Kumar bowls back to them. On ball left, just the two runs come off the come off a couple of balls ago. And this one just did battered. Two extra cover, ends the over. And that's drinks. Two nine nine for nine. Apologies, folks. I'll fix that scoreboard in a second. It was a single, not a two, off the uh, fourth ball.
All right, drinks breaks over. That first ball is a dot. And so is the second ball. There was one fielder. I was going to say he's outside the circle. He's come inside the circle now. I think the furthest away a fielder might be, even though points just going back, might be about 15 metres. It's, it's up and over! Extra cover. It wasn't well timed, which may have saved him as well. And that's 300. For Cornwall. And this one's pushed back to mid on. This one's just potted to short cover. <laughs> this one slashed a point, another dot. And ends the over. It's 300 for nine. 51-7, the Ferns are currently leading Wales. And WV, it's one. You know, there's been a big Sevens Festival on at uh, Tauranga at Blake Park last couple of days in involving the Blackfern Sevens site. Unfortunately, it wasn't televised. So I don't know really how they got on. I've had the um, pleasure of commentating actually giving uh, Stacey Flula she's now Stacey Walker um, her first commentating experience she commentated the game with me awesome lady uh, fronts the beef and lamb ads as well now and she, that smile you see on her face is permanent she is always smiling even when she plays she's yeah She's a lovely lady, as most of those, uh, just about all those black ferns are. I'm not saying that any aren't lovely, just the players that I do know. It's a couple of runs. Down behind square. I was um, lucky enough to have photography accreditation for the World Cup last year. And um, was sideline celebrating like anything like every like like every other New Zealand photographer were when we when we won the World Cup. Gives me uh, the old tingly and the goosebumps even thinking about it. What was annoying is that um I don't know why I decided not to go with two S D cards. I only went with one and um run out of spaces I've got players asking me for photos in the celebrations. Huge mix up Big mix up, but the throw's not going to be in time. And it's just the one. It was a huge mix up of the batsman coming back. And you have the. Uh, Raman. Uh, the photo or the live feed for when Aman took that catch, right? No. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes. yes. And it's no ball. I was going to say over, but no. Yeah, there will be highlights and um, photos posted to Bev's broadcasting official 
in coming days on Facebook and uh, giving those off to Eden Roskill as well. New over here from Steve Rautra and might have been bump ball. Sitting on four. Just apologies again that uh, I know the scoreboard says five, but he is only does only have four. No problems at all. Shivani Gambia. Got that question you asked earlier. This one's up. Players going back, yeah. and it's done. It's all over. Eden Roskill, if one on first innings here, and Dev Ratra has five. Not an outright result. The next best thing, Eden Roskill, win on first innings. And what has been a very good game. Actually, that might be a little bit premature. We haven't had official results, sorry, folks. Stumps are being left out there, so. waiting to see. I'll put the microphone on mute and see what we can find out.
All right, so the situation is, folks, Eden Ross going to come out and bat for 10 overs. Um, not too sure why, but they will. They have one on first innings. That resumption will be soon.
All right, welcome back. It is Eden's second innings about to take place. Neil Patel and Shushafi, the players at the crease. Jamie Hayes, the bowler, leaves the first ball alone, does Neil. Dog ball, we are being told 10 or 11 overs. That, um, Eden will bat for before the end of play of the end of the match Neil Patel scored his highest score in the last couple of seasons in the first innings well struck 79 not out so Eden Roskill's Starting this innings with a lead of 66 runs. And apologies, folks, just ignore that required run rate that's on my scoreboard. Uh, it is not nothing. Eden Roskill don't need to, um, don't even really need to bat actually. Could have chosen to. Edge outside of third slips reach, and it's a top ball. Four top balls, Neil Patel. It's faced. Oh, but that last one, pretty well controlled as it's gone down leg. East Coast Bays and Takapuna. Winning. Um, by an innings, and it looks as though Parnell are going to beat Auckland University. University a nine down, requiring uh, 55 runs to win that game outright. So it's possible. Well, the money is on at the moment. Um, that. This game might be the only game that uh, doesn't get a result. Sanath so Singh to open the attack from the northern end. Sanath so is um, premier two day statistics there, seven matches, five wickets in the last couple of seasons. Pretty expensive RPO, but um, I can work on that though. There's the first ball to Safi. Safi just plays inside the line. Balance there, but um, it goes through to the keeper down the leg. And 
as his appeal for court behind. Field is in front of the wicket, seem pretty keen, but um, no one behind. Too, too worried about that. Three dots to start the over. Someone's down leg and um, Cassidy. Jack Cassidy, who was dismissed in the uh, first innings last week. Man with the gloves. I apologise, folks. I think re realised that we've led people astray with the cricket. Um, the match actually starts at 6pm between New Zealand and Australia. So, so that's a day game, um, which is not even usually the uh, normal time for a day game in India. It's usually about 4 or 5 p.m., I thought. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, so... Yeah. Um, the story, from the ground at least, in um, Dhamasala is that Australia are being put into bat. And a maiden over to start the first two overs. It's none without loss, Eden. I'll tell you what though, Annie, if, uh, it's, it's not a bad thing uh, for New Zealand supporters though, is it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> What, the cricket or the rugby, sorry? The cricket, yeah. Um, I've watched the Netherlands game, because I've got a test in the Netherlands game. and... Anybody. Oh, just, oh, you're watching the Dutch, yeah. I've watched the Dutch. Or you would with, um... Oh, no. Tasia. With who, sorry? Tasia. Tasia Nida Oh, yes, sorry. Tasia Nida Manu, yep. It wasn't the player I was singing, but I thought, hang on a minute, I think... Yes, it's Takapona. <clears throat> but I did think there was a... When you said that, I was like, hang on, there is a Cornwall connection there somewhere. Yeah. So, I've watched those, but I've just taken it on to the... I can't believe it's sitting up Of course, Lake and Van Beek, one of the other... Is it on Dutch players? Yeah. Yes. It's a run. First run on the scoreboard. The bike, 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 the Jimmy Neesham has come into the Black Cap side and re replacing Mark Chapman. Mm. Travis Head's come in for the Australians for Cameron Green, who will open the batting with Mitch Marsh. Yes, that's gone through the keeper. No, sorry, he'll. No, Head is opening the batting with Marsh going down to three and Smith down to four. That makes more sense because I was thinking, where's Warner? Yeah. <laughs> it's been dropped after making the 160. It's like um, poor Jason Gillespie. Jason Gillespie's last score with bat in hand in Test match cricket was 200 odd. First um, day night, uh, first night watchman ever to score a double century in Test match cricket. Against Bangladesh and Dakar, I think, off the top of my head. It was definitely in Bangladesh at least. Um, but the Aussie selectors went happy with his bowling performance, so. They dropped. Um, is it. Is it D D what do they call him? Is it Dizzy? Is it, yeah, it's Dizzy, isn't it? Jason Gillespie. Yeah. 
See, this is what I love about commentating cricket and it. Um, not that I don't like commentating other sports, but you can talk about so much more in cricket. <laughs> yes. NZ over. And Eden Roskill after three overs of the proposed ten. There's one without loss, and I reckon in it we're probably about 20 minutes. Well, I was I was doing a couple of games, a couple of New Zealand school games for New Zealand rugby um, back in the September holidays. And it was supposed to pour down all day. It started like two minutes after the final whistle. I was like, whoever planned whoever planned that needs a gold needs more than a gold star. It, it was fine till yeah, and it started raining cu a couple of minutes afterwards. It was. Yeah, um, good, good luck to those that are running the marathon. Actually, thanks, in it. I forgot. Yeah, no, it's definitely coming. Yeah. Um, friends in Vanuatu and uh, the Pacific Islands have copped a bit of rain from the cyclone. Tropical. Uh, I think the remnants of that to me, you got something else. To I think to. some of it's skimming past, and we're just getting a little. Yeah, we're getting something that's come from somewhere else. Yeah. We'll just mix it up and have something a bit different. I think after uh, the start of 2023, for the rain we had, um, we can do without any more. Thanks. Safi just plays this on the crease. Well, you told us five o'clock, didn't you, earlier? Yeah. yeah, it's now just gone six. It's, uh, as I looked at the laptop to see what time it was, it ticked over six o'clock. <laughs> now, taking field set up here, they've got three slips, maybe even four slips rather than a gully. That good point is have an appeal from mid wicket, but um, definitely going down even from this angle. It's um, so much things second over, I should say. Fifth ball just defended. One ball come. Safi just lets it go down leg and it's one off it's two of that loss
top left of screen. Well, you've had five minutes to think about it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. As this has been let go by Jack Cassidy. It was not easy for him to grab. The buy signalled. I know I played in one game where, and in Hamilton C grade it was. Um, so probably fourth or fifth in Auckland, of, you know, fourth or fifth grade in Auckland. Yeah. But um, I, my teammate was fined for having less runs than me, and I was fined for having more runs than him. At one point, he was he was our best batsman on the team, and I was not. <laughs> Boy, to kick up a fuss that day, how can that work, you know? This is a dot, although no, no justice system is ever perfect, let alone if one where it's only fines. Northern Districts 99 for 2 now. After dismissing, asking Auckland to bat first at Kennard's High Community Oval. Yeah, this one's a bit high, but definitely not, not a chance to go on. Yeah, Auckland dismissed for 184. Northern Districts 99 for 2. Second ball of the uh, new over, it ends in four buys. Now, is that the one we Because I now can't see the umpire appointment on this stupid thing. I don't know where. It's a single down to fine leg there. Next ball is short. Who short ball of the innings? So 
Apologies there folks, it's Cheshafi on strike. Another short one. Second one of the over. So that is his limit. And first ball, last ball is dropped. It was very hard. Cassidy going the wrong way. And there's a peel for a run out. No, they've said no. The umpires have said no. It looked very comical there, actually. Not too sure what happened, but. Um, was it dropped at first, was it? No, oh, we've had a drop catch. Uh, possible run out. Um, and it's into the over at least. Eight without loss. After six overs. Third ball results in a no ball. There's been a few in this one. Sorry folks, just telling stories off air that um, can't always be told on air. He said legitimate ball now. Pushed past extra cover to his left. And they pick up a single. What's Neil on? Three. Three. Four. Four and Chew's on? None. Zero. So Chew yet to score. Neil on zero. Do I apologise that the um, scoreboard's wrong on my end?
This is left alone. Yeah, thanks. An update from Dharmasala, and it's not good. Random. If only. Travis Head, 17 off 8. David Warner, 16 off 11. Australia, 35 without loss after, after three overs. Why won't it rain on me? Sama Singh into the attack. Neil Patel on four. And this one's not being taken by the keeper. They'll pick up a single. Actually, it's a bye. Nitin, the um, cricket actually started at 6 pm. Australia batting first. Not good. There's this one's cut to point for no run. Australia has a decent start most of the time. Once warning gets out, and oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, we got a head as well, though. But, Marcus, yeah. once get Marcus, I think he's their best batsman. Either. Well, Steve Smith can still hold a bat. <laughs> you can't argue against the guy that's got an average of sixty. And Once he digs in, it's very difficult to get him out. Yep. He's oh, been gone down leg again, and it's going to be bo runs for buys. It is the uh, second four buys of the innings. And to be fair, this is a problem with two-day cricket. It's a bit unfair on uh, keepers. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this one's just caught up. Neil's gear. <laughs> Two balls to come in the eighth over. I do believe. Two more overs after this. It's a good ball. Cassidy's uh, given up. He's throwing the gloves. Just a reminder that um, started the innings, Eden Roskill had a lead of 66 runs. Having taken out the um, first innings one. This one's pulled round. There's a corner fielder out there, but um, has to go back round. They pick up a single. And Sixteen without loss. Just due to the um, issues I've had with the scoreboard there, folks. I'm just going to pull it down, and um, I will tell you what's going on. Pro bl order blasting Eden Roskill getting the first innings one here. Also, knowledge to other sponsors here at Eden Roskill, Barford and Thompson, Mount Roskill, and Reliance. 
Forex. Don't forget there will be um, photos and highlights posted to Bev's Broadcasting official Facebook page in coming days. Also give them off to uh, Eden Ruskell Cricket Club as well use on social media. It's the second ball of Hayes' fifth over. Cassidy having to go down leg and he's not looked too comfortable there. I heard someone say, are you alright? He's carrying on. There's this one that's hit to point, no run. Stumps at um, Kennard's Higher Community Oval. In Northern Districts, 110 for two, 74 runs behind Auckland's first innings. Have a look for you in a moment there, Annie. Sorry, take it you're talking about Auckland. Yeah. yeah. There's this one's behind point. And a pick up two. 54 without lost two balls into the fifth over Australia. I only knew that because that was where I, where I was last. <laughs> This ball's just back to the bowler. He picks it up and his follow through. Uh, 61 overs complete. That's alright. Three, three runs and overs. Decent, uh, decent run rate. Player going back to the deep square. To three quarter boundary almost at um, four to square. This one let through. Two off it. It's 18 without loss after nine of us. Yeah. Yeah. For the last over here. Yeah, we have to say 10 minutes. So it could be um, two more overs. Last over. There he gets up over short mid wicket and racing towards the boundary and his four runs. Well timed, it's a pretty decent outfield out here. How many photos do you reckon Nit and I've taken today, including the girls' match? I 
150. Sorry? More than 50? 120. 120. 120. So shit's got 120 in it. How many photos do you reckon I've taken today? 50 and 120 is the guesses so far. Can you one click how many photos? Just, I've had them on a slow, 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 slow right today. One, two plus. If you add all, all three guesses up, you've got half. I've taken nearly 700 photos. What you like feeling so I And 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 to be honest, that's only I've only had it on a slow rate as well. So if I'd had it I had it where I would normally. Uh, there would have been a lot more photos. <laughs> so then you have to there through there and yeah, I go th go through them tonight. Delete the ones I don't like and then have another look through. Is this one is coming to it? Uh, no, I probably won't be able to to be honest. As all this has gone through to the keeper. Beaten Safi all up. Well, I said t I said ten past six, didn't I? We're now twenty five past, so that production's gone right out the window. As that is over, 22 without loss. Looks as though we do have time for another over. Parnell have beaten Auckland University by 46 runs. So this game will be the only one of round one of the City Guard Premier Men's Auckland two-day Headley Howarth competition that will um, not end in an outright result. But that's not to say we haven't had a good game of crap. Oh, no, that, that, sorry, that's my point. <laughs> sorry, that, that, that was my point. You know, this is the only one not to have an outright. It's... Um, yeah, sometimes it's very rare to have an outright alone, let alone um, three three of them. All firm teams are capable of batting at least seventy seventy. As what we think will be the last over, swings round one square as Cassidy goes and chases it. And they pick up a couple. What does the score say? 24. 24 without loss in the 11th over. Yeah, it said 10 or 11, yeah. I'm, fr I'm, fr I'm freezing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not just you, Annie. Yes, this one's left alone. Through the keeper. Big thanks to everyone who's tuned in to the live stream. Uh, just a reminder next weekend I will be down in Hotapu live streaming and commentating the uh, Waikato Club Sevens for 2023. While um, Ethan Ross will take on East Coast Bays in day one of two on the 4th of November. Pick up a couple, makes it 26 without loss. Gone will go to Ken Wanda Park and take on Suburbs New Lynn for round two. Suburbs New Lynn comprehensively being beaten by East Coast Base. Doing their names in 50 runs. Earlier today, just a little forward prod here.
Uh, two balls. Yeah, two balls to come. We believe that this will be the end. Just another reminder you can watch uh, highlights and see some photos on Bev's Broadcasting Official on Facebook. There's a throw. Ooh, a bad chance of a run out there. Let's so pick up a couple of runs. 28 without loss. ball and left alone and that's it all over Rover after last week Eden Roskill 370 for 7 declared it's a valiant effort from Eden uh, from Cornwall today all out for 304 resulting in a first innings win to Eden Roskill, 66 without loss. They've ended the game on 28 without loss. Yep. And there's only two things left to say. Go the... Go the Black Caps, 73 without loss, Australia at the moment in the 7th over. And especially at 8am New Zealand time, from Stade de France in Paris, go the All Blacks.